What are you doing? Would you stop exposing my... Every single time, you got to pull on my shirt. Then sit on my lap. Oh! Hey, everybody. <laughs> um, I'm just stopping in to do a quick um, Jumpstart January 2016 video. Um, I'm, I can't, I'm kind of off, so I have to do another one also. But I didn't really know what to talk about, so the idea just came to me because it's something that happened to me yesterday. <laughs> so... For a second, I'm going to bring back the festivity rants. Remember, that's what I said I was going to do. Like, whenever something happened to me, like, that that pisses me off. And I just want to rant about it. So, I just want to bring that back really quick. Okay, so, yesterday, I'm on my way to dropping my daughter off to my mom's. Now, every day, I take the same train to get to my mother's house. So... You know, every time I, um, you know, in, in New York, if you're not from New York, in New York, we have the um, subway and the buses, like it's our public transportation. And we have um, subway stations with this token booths and this clerks that work in the token booth 24 hours. So um, every morning when I usually get um, on the train. There's a lady there who's a token booth clerk. And, you know, every morning I get on, I um I swipe my card, I flip the turnstile, and then I go to the gate so that she can open it for me. I always wave her down like, hey, you know, I paid. I'm, and she, and she watches me. So, yesterday, I happened to do the same routine, you know, getting on the train with my daughter. And it was a different token booth clerk there. So, I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. I'm not thinking nothing of it. So, I do my usual. I swipe. Flip the turnstile and I wave him down. I'm like, hey, you know, I just paid. I just need the gate to be open. And he's going to ask me, um, did you swipe? I was like, yeah, I just paid. And he was like, um, well, how am I supposed to know that? I said, I just paid. Like, I literally just paid. Mind you, the, the booth, the token booth is facing the turnstile. So... I'm like, yeah, I just paid. Do you want to see my Metro card? And he's like, well, how would I know that? I'm like, oh, my God, I just paid. So he's going to say, oh, my God, you, you need to read the sign on the door. You're supposed to come to me and let me know that. I said, seriously, I do the same routine every day. Why is it that when you're here, it's a problem? So he ended up letting me go through anyway. And I told him, I said, well, you need to pay attention next time. Because when I came downstairs, there were people that were working on the Metro card vending machines. He's watching them, and he's conversing with somebody in the um the, the token booth, not paying no attention to what I'm doing. I'm not going to come to you. Mind you, there was nobody on the line. I'm not going to come to you and say, hey, you know, you see me standing there. You, I'm not going to come to you when you see me standing there. If you would have paid attention, then you would have seen that I swiped and I needed to go through. Mm. So I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to let him upset me. He obviously hates his job, and he just wants to be an asshole today. And I just, I hate people like that. I hate people who hate their jobs, and they make everybody else miserable right along with them. I'm not that type of person. If I hate my job, or I hate where I'm at, I'm going to leave, and I'm going to find something better. I'm not going to sit up here and, you know, be a total bitch to everybody because I hate my profession. And that's how I felt that guy was being yesterday. Because like I said, every day I do the same thing. That lady sees me. She says nothing. She waves me. She waves me down. She'll open the gate for me and then that's it i tell her thank you and i go on about my business but why when it's your day to work in that booth you want to be an asshole so you know the old me would have cursed him out would have felt some kind of way but i was like you know what i'm really growing as a person he hates his job that's not my fault whatever and i went on about my business but i just hate people who are like that you got it's, it's always it's a lot of people who work for the mta that are like that you know, you'll have a bus driver who's nice. You'll tell them, hey, you know, I don't have enough car fare. You tell them something, they just let you get on the bus. Other bus drivers want to be mean and say, well, get off my bus. But from what I heard, they stopped doing that because when a bus driver didn't let somebody on because they didn't have their fare, the person ended up killing the bus driver. So now they just let you on with no problem. I don't know how true that is, but I was just like, whoa, like, you know, is that serious to kill somebody because they wouldn't let you on without your fear or whatever? So, I mean, I know the, the, the rules have changed or whatever, but it's like, back to what I was saying, like, if you hate your profession, you hate your job, then stop working there. Like, if you hate what you do, then don't work there. Like, I'm the type of person, I don't mind 
working for people but what you're not gonna do is make me miserable at work that's not what you're gonna do and that's what i see a lot of people are doing a lot of people make their employees miserable because they're miserable you're not gonna make me miserable at work if i feel a certain kind of way i'm gonna talk to you about it we're gonna come to some type of happy medium and then we're gonna move on that's just the person that i am and i'm also the type where i'm like anything that i do has to be something that i'm happy with like i love kids i love working with kids so i want my profession to eventually be working with kids anything like in the age in the um I, I really want to have my own program that's what i'm working towards so you know and then this vlogging vlogging and whatnot doing reviews and whatnot this is fun for me it's like a side hobby for me and i never really tapped into what my hobbies are but i find that this is very fun for me because i like expressing myself on camera i like when people give me ideas i like when people um you know, shout me out and say, hey, thank you so much for making this video. You really helped me, blah, blah, blah. Like, I like stuff like that. I like to, you know, touch people and to um, leave a legacy behind. That's what I, that's my ultimate thing to do. So, I mean, you know, this is a start and this is something fun for me. I really enjoy doing it. But it's like, I just feel like people nowadays are just working. Like, they have jobs. They don't have careers. And they're, like, upset with the world and it's like you can't take that anger out on people who have nothing to do with you and that's kind of how I felt like the guy in the um booth was being to me like I felt like he was just being an asshole for no reason so and I just like I said it, it could be true it could not be true I don't know but that's just the vibe I got from how he was talking to me because he was really rude and I didn't deserve that I, I wasn't rude to him I'm not rude to anybody ever I tell people thank you I, um, I have manners. I tell people, thank you. If they help me, cause usually I'm with my daughter. If they help me with the stroller, I say, have a blessed day, happy new year, whatever it is at the time. You know, I'm a very nice person and I have manners, but you know, because I'm nice, people think that they could talk to me any kind of way. And I don't put up with that. So I just wanted to rant about that because I'm just sitting up here like, dude find another profession if you're gonna be an asshole in this profession you need to find another profession maybe you need to find a profession where you can be an asshole and get paid more money for it i'm just saying but i just want to step on here really quick and just add that to my um jumpstart january 2016 because i really didn't know which topics to talk about i didn't really ask anybody which topics to talk about but feel free after you see this video to to throw some down there and i'll talk about them um yeah so um i mean however you feel what if you want to like comment subscribe you like comment subscribe i really appreciate it make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching bye